So the A7S III images are starting to leak. Let's take a look. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's that one camera guy back at again with a really quick rumor slash news video for you because this is just kind of breaking news, I guess, so to speak. But uh, over, on, over on Sony Off Rumors, uh, they just posted actual images of the, well, okay, first of all, it, it could be fake, but I would imagine at this point already, these images are, are happening already. I, I mentioned a couple of videos ago that my, my thought process was that the author at Sony Off Rumors already had images already of the camera. They already know what's going on. It's more of a trickle kind of situation, okay? So that's, and it looks like it's the case. And it's usually the case all the time. So it's not unusual. Uh, this is the first leaked image of the new Sony a7S III from, I got from Jay. Sounds very confident, right? Almost as if the author is confirming this with us. Uh, you can clearly see the red recording button. The LCD screen is fully articulating. Otherwise, it's pretty much close to the A7R4 body. All right, um, we're gonna jump right back to the body or, or the image here, but um, we were talking about, there was like some sources that the author got a little while ago, and my gut was telling me that, you know, there was some truth in, in the sources that he was given. Uh, and, you know, some of it being true, some of it being not true, but let's go ahead and jump back to that. So there was a post a little while back uh, where so many off rumors posted these five sources. And I'm sure some of you are realizing this right now that there is some truth to what we're seeing here. So it looks like source number one was correct, right? Source number one says, autofocus system is the same as A7R4. I would imagine that'd be the case. The video record button is now at the top of the button, right behind the shutter button. So in terms of validity between these folks, here we go. Uh, 4K raw output, yes, fantastic. Maybe that has to do with the, du the, the two USB type C ports. Man, that's gonna be exciting for people if they can pull that off. Uh, not sure if it supports 4K 120 FPS raw output, did not try. So based on that language, right? We're getting, it looks like the camera does have 4K 120. We just don't know if it's raw. We just don't know if it's raw, if you can do raw. I did not have a chance to test out the raw output because the firmware is not available. Apparently, Atomos is working on it to support the A7S III HDMI signal. Dynamic range is 15 tested by Sony, so I guess it's a 13 uh, to 14 in real life. Wow. That's looking good, folks. I'm getting a little more excited. If you didn't catch my last video that I just posted, I was talking about I was expecting Sony to really knock it out of the park. And what I was saying in that video, I'll just kind of summarize it really quick here, is that Sony has kind of seen what the competitors have been doing with their cameras. You know, Blackmagic Pocket is offering 6K. Uh, you had the Panasonic S1H offering almost near 6K, I believe. You had the Canon 1DX Mark III, so with the 5.9K, I believe. So that 6K was kind of out there. That's why I think that the 12 megapixel sensor is very strange in my opinion. I think it's probably going to be 24 with the 6K option. That's just my prediction because I just think it's very strange to come out of the gate with only 4K when when they were already out there with that 6K and Canon's you know tipping at that 8K option already. So and if this camera is going to be the camera for the next few years, I would imagine they would want to try and push the envelope as much as they can. But hey, who knows? All right, let's look here. Source number two. Dials looking from the back panel of the camera, video dial for the mode selection left of EBF. Okay, it, it didn't have the dial. So source two's out. So whatever source two's saying, I'm not buying it, right? T that's why I was joking around about the touch function enable when navigating menu. Yeah, that was a joke. Removable port doors. Um, crop in 4K. Let's see here. Source five. Seems to be possible. Seems to be possible. So, all right. We're getting more information, folks. It's trickling in. We might even hear more later on today, and I might have to make another quick video. But uh, let me know your thoughts about it, looking at the actual image of the camera, your thoughts about that. Are you feeling a little bit better now? It seems to be. We're going to get some of those video options. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting close. That's going to do it for me for this video. I wasn't expecting to make a video this early in the morning. I was asleep and I was like, man, I, could just, I just needed to rest. But anyway, stuff's happening. Stuff's going. It doesn't matter. And again, there's going to be a, I'm going to do a joint live stream on Tuesday. 
on the, line, the event, the actual announcement. Anyway, like, subscribe, check out my other content, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.